So I wanted to surprise my wife for our 25th wedding anniversary with a desk. She's been wanting a desk because she has been doing some jewelry and some flower arrangings and things like that. And uh, she's been using like two end tables kind of like put together <laughs> for her desk. So what she didn't know is when we moved from our, our old house that we lived in for almost 15 years, our first house that we ever owned, I saved one of the interior doors that we took off right when we first moved in because it was just in the way all the time. And I've been storing it in the garage and then when we moved, I put it at my buddy's house uh, with the intent of doing something with it and making something with it and ended up this was uh, the perfect uh, thing to do with it. So. The first thing I needed to do was trim it up because it had some termite damage across the bottom as you can see here and I just cut a couple inches off of it to get rid of that. What I do without you You make me smile What is it that you do My life The next step was to strip off the current finish and to do that I started with this goof off uh, pro stripper and this just will remove the current uh, varnish and, and polyurethane and stain I don't even know what was all on this but this uh, helped get uh, the bulk of it off. As you can see here, I'm applying it. And let it sit for about 10, 10 minutes or so, and then just take a scraper and then just start scraping it off. And here you can see me taking the scraper just to, to remove the finish. And there are a couple of spots that it was still pretty, pretty thick, like there's some finish left. So you can see me uh, kind of taking some of the, the goof off and then just kind of putting it back over that area, like especially on this side here. We had tried to sand this before and it was just ruining the sandpaper. So definitely the, needed to use the stripper. So probably could have used a second coat um, to really get it nice and clean. But uh, it, it did pretty good with just the one coat. The next step, I took a belt sander and just did a nice rough sanding with some uh, heavy grit Sandpaper, I don't remember the exact grid of it, but um, maybe 80. Um, it was uh, some pretty gnarly stuff. So, And you can see here when I show the uh, belt sander in a, in a minute, um, it's that there's still some finish just to sticking to that sandpaper. And um, so, the, you know, a second coat of the goof off uh, probably would have been good. There you go here. And then after that, I used to use an orbital sander. I think I did like a 120 uh, grit with this. Uh, just to get a little bit more detail, get inside the, the in, inside the panels, and just clean it up as much as I could. Here I'm using a, a wire brush. Uh, I think this had like brass uh, bristles on it, just to clean into the detailed parts of the raised panels. And this was really good for getting out that last little bit of uh, finish out of those little crevices. And here's what it looks like uh, all cleaned up. Probably could have spent a little bit more time on it, but um, this was uh, pr pretty good compared to what it started at. Decided to get with this weathered gray stain. Um, we have a little end table where you come in our back door that's gray. Neighbor April really likes that color, so I thought she would like this as well. So I, I applied, I think, two coats. So I initially just took like a, a white cloth and just rubbed it in and then just wiped off the excess, and I did that twice to get this finish. So you can see some of the wood grain, some of the original color coming through, and that was my intent.
So for the uh, top coat, I went with the glaze coat. I've used this before, like for a bar top at the, our old house, and I really like the finish on it. Um, so I, I think I ended up buying like three different gallon kits and then like a quart kit uh, to be able to do this whole thing. So and there's the mixing buckets and things like that. But um, you have to go uh, about an eighth of an inch uh, or so per pour. Let that set overnight, then put your next layer on, next layer, next layer. I think I was like five layers in total. And then also between each layer, you have to take a uh, torch and pop any bubbles that come to the surface just so you don't get those little imperfections uh, in the finish um, as you layer it on or even if you just do one coat. I believe this is the second coat of the glaze coat and you can see the little bubbles. This is before I took the torch to it. And that's why you want to use that torch is just so you can pop out all those air bubbles so you get a nice glass-like finish. And here you can see me taking the torch and just going over the surface. Um, you want to stay a few inches. I believe it says to stay like six inches, but depending on the torch and the gas that you're using. Um, and it was very humid to stay. It's really hot. Um, so I had to get a little bit closer in some spots to get all those air bubbles out. But just went over it a couple of times, waited a few minutes, went over it again, just to make sure I got them all out and you don't have any of those imperfections. So you can see here, all the air bubbles are gone. Just get, get that nice glass like finish. And the stuff that's in the middle, that's just where, you know, it spilled over and I just took the foam brush, like a foam paintbrush and just leveled that out. As you pour uh, additional coats, it'll just cover that right up. You'll never even see it. And as you can see here, I think this is probably like the fifth coat, <laughs> fifth and final coat. Um, and then after I took the uh, torch to it and got all the, the bubbles out, so you use just that super nice glass finish. And you could always like do a really fine wet sanding if you really wanted, and then a polish if you really wanted it to make it uh, to shine and pop. But I haven't done that yet. Every day is something new. If I spend it with you, with you, with you. And I'd like to give a big shout out to my buddy Darren for letting me use his barn. Uh, while I did all this, it probably took a week or so uh, for all the pours and just to get it ready to to do the pours. So really appreciate it, Darren. My world is spinning round, round, round. Oh, I want you now, now, now. My world is spinning round, round. April uh, doesn't. She's been making jewelry, doing flowers and stuff, uh, and she doesn't have a desk. So this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got it. This is uh, something from our old house. I gotta open it. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> <laughs>